An alert tonight for anyone who may need to use a government website, whether it's the IRS, Social Security, HUD, or any other agency. Make sure you know that it's really a government agency before you give personal info or your credit card, as one tri-state woman found out. Barbara Bolden is worried. She just gave her personal information to a website she thought was the Social Security Administration. No, no, yeah, here, my phone number, my address, where I live, the zip code, uh, my Social Security number, of course, and everything. It all started when she lost her Social Security card somewhere in her College Hill apartment. I have a wallet. I can't find it, so I decided to send off for another one. So she Googled Social Security card replacement and came to GovSimplified.com that promised an easy replacement. Websites like this know that a lot of people don't want the hassle of driving downtown to a Social Security office or perhaps standing in line at their local post office. So they make it easy at a cost. But when the site suddenly asked for her credit card number, she realized it wasn't a government agency. Well, he was trying to tell me how much it would cost. And I said, I'm not paying for a Social Security card. And Gov Simplified is not a scam. It's a legitimate South Florida-based company that helps consumers with government services. It recently settled a 2015 class action lawsuit accusing it of deceptive practices and promised to post more disclaimers saying it's not an official government website. But Barbara just wants to warn others to double-check websites before they share their most personal info. Of all people, I think I'm on top of that. Well, Gov Simplified did nothing wrong. Barbara has requested a fraud alert to be put on her credit files just to be extra safe. Bottom line, take your time and ask questions. Now